Hello and a very warm welcome to Denise at Denmark Open 2020, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour. Denmark a nation of only five and a half million people, a nation focused on the whole human being with quality work time and quality leisure time. A nation paying attention to an active life for young as well as old, and of course, a sustainable green solutions. We're live from Uense Sports Park in Denmark, Uense, the third largest city in Denmark and the hometown of fairy tale writer Hans Christian Andersen. I, Morten Frost, will guide you for the first three matches and later be joined by my colleague Jill Clark. Please do sit back and enjoy. Today is semi-finals day of competition and let's have a look at some of the matches on court number one. Match number four, a women's doubles featuring Stoeva sisters from Bulgaria, the European Games winners from 2015, against two times world champions Matsumoto and Nakahara from Japan. Match number six, a women's singles between three times Pan American Games gold medalist Michelle Lee of Canada versus a number two seed and former world champion Osomi Okuhara of Japan. Match number seven, the much anticipated match in men's singles, the match the local fans can't wait to see. The silver medalist from the World Championships, Anas Antonsen of Denmark against world ranking number two, Cho Chen Chen from Chinese Taipei. And finally, match number eight, an interesting clash between two of Europe's best mixed doubles, Lamsfuss and Hertrich of Germany versus the European Games champions, Ellison Smith from England. And here we have the much sought after magnificent trophy for the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. And the first match on today is a women's doubles and we are focusing on the match at the top with uh, the Japanese number one seat, Fukushima and Hirota, versus the Danish surprise, Bush and uh, Scholz. Just a very, very young combination from Denmark, but they've done it all the way to the semi-final here today, Saturday. Really well done by the young Danish pair. They, of course, will play the winners of uh, match number four. It's these two Eva sisters from Bulgaria versus uh, the two-time world champions uh, Matsumoto and Nakahara and from Japan. The first match will be women's double. They are currently ranked number two in the world, and they won Denmark Open in 2018. And back in March this year, they won the All England from Japan. Yuki Fukushima. And first on to court is Fukushima and Hirota, and it's a Fukushima it's leading the two players on to court. They have been a number one on the world ranking for 42 weeks, and last time was on 12th of November 2019. Presently, they're ranked at number two. And uh, as the announcer said, they won the All England earlier this year, the Super 1000 tournament in two straight games. They are up against the two 19-year-old players from Denmark, Christina Bush and Amelia Schultz. And it's Christina Bush that's leading the players onto court with the tall left-hander, Amelia Schultz, just behind her. And what a fairy tale it has been for the two youngsters to get to this semi-final. They have enjoyed every single moment on court, I can assure you. So we're getting ready for the toss of the coin and the head-to-head -head between the two pairs, as you can see. No previous meetings. Who's serving? Yuki? And which side? So, Yuki Fukushima chose to serve, and the Danes chose ends. And 
and uh, the first profile on court here is uh, Yuki Fukushima, age 27. And uh, as previously mentioned, they have enjoyed 42 weeks as world number one. And uh, on the race to Tokyo, they are presently in number one on that list based on 18 tournaments. Their world ranking is based on 21. So they played a lot of tournaments. And here, partner Sayaka Hiro to 26 years of age. Last year in 2019, they reached two quarterfinals, nine semifinals. They had one runners up and four wins. And uh, yesterday they were made to work hard against Birch and Smith from England, winning 21-19 in the third and deciding game in 63 minutes. And their opponents from Denmark. Here is Christina Bush. As previously mentioned, at only 19 years of age. They are presently 71 on the world ranking, and that's based on 11 tournaments only. It's actually the highest ranking they have enjoyed so far. They spent one week as number 71. Partner Amelia Schulz, tall athlete, 178 centimeters, age as well, 19 years of age. And of course, the same ranking applies for the Amelia Schultz, and I can uh, tell you that they reached the quarterfinal of the World Junior Championship in 2019. They won their two previous matches in two straight games. They were, though, made to work very hard in uh, the first match, second game 23 21 against the German pair, and yesterday in the quarterfinal in the opening game. 22-20 against the Scottish pair. The umpire for the uh, match is Shah Hosseini of uh, Austria and uh, Fabio Beto of Italy is the service judge. So it's a very, very tall order for the young Danish pair but I am sure that they will enjoy every single second of this match. Smiles all over. They know they are up against the mighty Japanese and pair. On my right, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota, Japan. <laughs> and on my left, Kristin Bush and Amalie Schulz, Denmark. Yuki Fukushima to serve to Amalie Schultz. Love all. Play. Good defensive counter-attacking shots from Schultz. Hit the top of the tape, just rolling over. Service over. Right on the line. Very good smash. Good play here from Fukushima. Look at the smash. Just on the line. Well played. Fukushima and Hirota. 
also three times a silver medalist from the World Championships. Using good variety. The left right combination there from Denmark. Yeah. That was a good opportunity for Fukushima. Uh, will definitely Three, go down as a missed two. opportunity. Coach Michael Kelson. Not to be confused with the player, Michael Kelson, who played in the 80s from Denmark in the men's doubles. That was a good attacking lift from Schultz. Four, Over three. the head of Hirota into the deep backhand corner and forcing here Fukushima into error. Good play from Schultz. Well played by uh, Amelia Schultz. Plays that slice right in the middle between the two Japanese players. Stayed in on the back line. Seven, it's interesting six. to see so far the Danish combination have chosen on their return of serves to play it to the back line and making sure that the front player from Japan is not having a chance of interception. Surely that's a, a well worked strategy. Eight, well six. thought through strategy from the two Danes.
the last three points for the two Danes as nine six up now. Nine, six. And that's very well finished off by Bush. Managed to take it all the way across court. And that's not an easy shot. Bush and Schultz going into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-6. Variation both in your retour, your serve, but also in your angrip. As the there, you lay down in the skier, down in the feet, and put them first slow hard. It's very good. And as we talked about every time he rotates on the way forward, he gets the overspilling down over the there you made the ned over the back, over the there overspilling down over the back hand at the start of the pesco. Hvad, hvad, har de også lavet nogle fejl, synes jeg. Det har de. Men nu tror jeg, de begynder at, at, at vil, vil spille noget mere. Måske begynder de bare at, at spille noget mere med og sætte jer lidt mere på baglinjen. Og så skal vi bare være tålmodige. I think it was very befitting that uh, Fukushima and Hiroto won the All England this year because, as I used to say, spare thought for the combination from Japan. They lost three World Championships finals very, very closely. 2017, they lost to Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan, 21-15 in the third and final game. 2018, they uh, lost to Matsumoto and Nakahara. 23-21 in the third and final game. And last year, it was a similar result. Extra points were required. talking about in the Seven. mid game interval that they were expecting the Japanese combination to put some more heat on make the Danish pair work harder from the back of the court and let's see whether that's actually going to happen So far, Fukushima and Hiroden have been quite happily sitting back and defending. I'm really looking forward to seeing them starting to go into an attack and be much more controlling in this match. At the moment, they leave all initiative to the two youngsters. the surprise should the Danish pair manage to win this match that will be one of the biggest surprises ever in international badminton 15-8 up so far in the opening game 
still waiting for Fukushima and Hiro to really to put the heat on. Good play by Hirota. Amelia Schulz was uh, covering the cross court, which was the most natural shot to play. But look at how Hirota is playing that one down the line. That is excellent play. Very long rally here. Fukushima Hirota making this a physical battle. Mistakes are creeping into the game of the 290-year-olds. Coach Michael Kelson say that they need to use the uh, back court again, and I must say I do agree with him. 12, last uh, 15. two or three minutes, the last four or five points have been played in flat exchanges and up front, and that's where the Japanese pair is much, much better than the Danish pair. And yet another mistake from the back from. Christine Bush. 15. Suddenly, 8.15 is now 13.15. Five points in a row. And that's a good save by the Danes. Good. Left-right combination here from the Danes. Really worked hard, worked it. Good attacking. Good rotational skills here. 14, very proactive play. 14, 
strong interception from Hirota at the net. 15, 17. First opportunity. She's making the best of it. Once again, the gap is down to two points. have to be more disciplined when it comes to return of services but very good serving from uh, Fukushima Clever smash from Hirota, the cross court 18, 17. catching Bush on the backhand side. She seems to be the weaker of the two Danish players when it comes to defence. Once again, he wrote to play this wonderful shot down the line rather than going cross court. Two points gap, 19-17, two points away from taking the opening game. This, despite the Danes were leading 15-8. from uh, Fukushima. Play a lead. Play a lead. Your coach was uh, uh, set out. Yes. Oh, that is controversial. We play a the umpire is determined saying that the shot is let because uh, let. the coach was shouting out and thereby 18, influencing 19. the line judge despite the fact that that oh, shot uncle, was please. way out of the back line. That's not very often you see a call like that. Good backhand from Fukushima.
very well constructed rally from 20, Fukushima, game, and he wrote it really kept 18. the pressure <laughs> on the two Danes. Very consistent, made it a physical battle. Game point has arrived. 20, game point 18. That's in. First game goes to Fukushima and Hirota. 21 18. Sayaka Hirota. 21 18. Then we got confirmation 22 minutes. 21 18. Og battle, men der er lige den periode der, hvor de får deres point lidt for let, fordi vi, der bliver vi for meget pres. Altså vi vil lidt for meget pres og for meget. Vi glemmer vores helt korte retur og mixpunkterne også. Øhm, og da vi kommer i gang med dem, jamen, så laver vi også lidt et par fejl på dem. Men, men, men hvis vi husker hele tiden at variere øh, de der retur, vi også spiller vores bløde spil. Det er de der, de der bløde, hvor vi drejer dem øh, og får spillet ind foran dem, det er vanvittigt godt. Øh, så. Så tror jeg, at hænger lidt af, ikke løs, 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 løs. Det er bare så. Ja. fejl på det, så vil jeg bare spille med dagen. Du gør jo det der rigtig godt med at køre den ned i fødderne på den, men du skal være, de, hver gang, at, at du gør det, så bliver du flyttet. Så du skal bare afsted over i den anden side, så du, have, så du også er oppe på den næste. Det kan du også godt, ja. Fordi ja. vi kan ikke rigtig slå ned på os, men det kan godt være, at de... det, er det, det, også, fordi vi heller ikke har afgivet særlig meget. Eller ja, men I er, altså... Vi fire okay meget lige sådan. Dem, de bliver bare tilbage i... Ja, ja. ja eller også. Og slår I har stået fint nok i DEF'en. I skal bare blive med at stå fremme, som I gør, så I udfordrer dem der. Jeg synes faktisk også, der var en periode, hvor vi sådan får lagt de der bløde flade ind, hvor de gerne vil ud efter dem, men så kan vi, så de er faktisk ikke så skarpe der. Så de der lokker, vi laver til dem, hvor de kommer med, dem har vi faktisk vundet på. Så. Men alle afgørende. Få nogle få spil med dem. Ja, ja. Lots of discussions in the Danish camp around the service returns. But all in all, very happy with the situation. Start by Fukushima and Hirota. More aggressive here from the beginning of the second game. And now the two. Teenagers really have to watch out for Love Down. Four, love. And they really need to get points now, otherwise, chances are that the train is really leaving the platform without them.
it's easy to see here that uh, Christine Bush, the swing is just too big. Still needs some strength in her forearm. But as I say, she's only 19. Things can change for the better. Get a lot, lot stronger in the years to come. to say it's uh, a fantastic opportunity for all the young players to enter a 750 tournament on the world tour and really getting the feeling out of what it's like to play a tournament at this very high level we've seen a lot of young players this week really taking their opportunity and playing well we will of course also see that in the men's doubles in the third match oh that's beautiful that is awesome really really well played by Fukushima look at that delicious delicate touch block shot from Fukushima look at this one awesome well played to be done in the Danish camp. Let's see what der, du sagde, coach is saying. Set, at, uh, nu laver de ikke nogen lette fejl, men nu er de trygge, uh, og de laver ikke nogen fejl. Så vi har, vi har dem der, hvor de er allerbedst. Og for at få så meget hjem, med hjem som muligt, så skal vi udnytte den chance her til at få så mange gode dueller som muligt. Uh, så vi får så meget med hjem som muligt. Ikke? Uh, og det vil sige nu, altså de, de skader egentlig stadigvæk ikke jer. Det er os, der laver pointene. Det er os, der laver pointene. Vi er ved for meget. Vi er ved for meget. Så... Ja, de laver ikke nogen fejl, men vi skal ikke udspille os selv, altså, så de får pointene. Så nu skal vi ind og battle om de her pointe, ikke? Kom så. Ja, yeah, basically, uh, the coaching was all about every point is a victory. So, uh, it's just all about building for the future. so much the Japanese play and style that's hurting the Danes I think it's the Danes hurting themselves too many almost unforced errors look at that one not really forced still missing it completely Amelia Schulz and the other smash from Bush way out the sideline so Oh. 
A yeah, wonderful ankle here from Hirota. Japanese pair 14, won six three. tournaments in 2018. Five open events. And then they also won the Asian Championship. In 2019, they won four open events. One of them being the Super 1000 tournament in Indonesia. like normality is restored after a little bit of worrying times for Fukushima and Hirota being 15-8 down in the opening game. Came back to win it at 21-18 and now it's on cruise control 16-3. a smile on the face of Amelia Schultz, despite the error. Match point six. six. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the faces. Look at the smiles from the two teenagers. Despite they were taught a lesson here in the uh, second game, they really did enjoy it. Won by Yuki Kokushima, Sayaka Hirota. 21-18, So the world number two, three times silver world championship medalist and twice winner of the Indonesian Open, all England champions as well. Fukushima and Hirota takes this uh, opening match. 21-18, 21-6 against uh, the youngsters from Denmark, Christine Bush and Amelia Schulz. The next match uh, coming up will be a, a women's singles between Yvonne Lee of Germany against uh, the Olympic champion and three times world champion Carolina Marin of Spain.
and welcome back to Unze Denmark Open 2020. Here we've got the order of play and first match is completed. Two straight games win for the number one seat, Fukushima and Hirota of Japan. Very expected, but nevertheless, it was a good fight from the Danes in the first game, 21-18. We will now turn our attention to women's singles.